Okay, YouTubers, this is Big Polly's World of Sports Sims. Uh, I am doing this live on Twitch at 6 o'clock Eastern Time on Sunday. You're not seeing it until the very earliest, 8.30 on Monday in the evening. I just wanted to throw in a few words saying we're going to be experimenting with doing some of our stuff on Twitch. Um, if you want to catch the week's edition of uh, Birth of the Bolts, the Tampa Bay Lightning series I'm doing, that will be available Mondays at 7 o'clock on Twitch, and then we'll have it on tape delay about 9 o'clock Tuesday night. Actually, probably more closer to 10 uh, Tuesday night, because I do, because on Tuesdays on Twitch, I'm doing a random acts of OOTP, and that'll be a two-hour video. And that'll be available Wednesday on YouTube. Gets confusing, but I'll, I'll straighten you all out through it. And now I'm going to go live on Twitch. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is TB Polly coming to you on Twitch. I'm also known as Big Polly's World of Sports Sims on YouTube, and I have my own Facebook group. Welcome to the, uh, well, actually, this is the third or fourth live broadcast I have done on Twitch, but I forgot to save the videos the first couple of times that I have done it and didn't know how to do it until uh, it was too late. So this is going to be the first video that's going to be available uh, live, but also as things go, and I'm just checking my phone out, I am live. I should be live. Am I not live? Okay, let me just check this out, folks. Stand by. We have another minute. Oh, I will just straighten this out real fast and see that if I am live on Twitter. Am I live on, uh, not live on Twi Twitter, Twitch, you dummy. Well, anyway. You ever notice how many people are, are on YouTube? I mean, on, on YouTube, not YouTube, but on Twitch and they just wear... Buddy? Here I am. Uh, this is TB Polly coming to you on Twitch. I'm Okay, 30 seconds to air. Looking forward to making a whole bunch of new friends on Twitch. Check out the YouTube channel if and when you get the chance. The Coach Up with Big Polly starting in 15 seconds. And hello there, everybody. Um, as I said, I've done a few of these videos on YouTube, but this is the first real chance I have had to do one on Twitch. Did a few test videos that didn't work out, uh, but hopefully this works. This is the big time, folks. This is Twitch, so I want to be on my best behavior. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the Coach Up with Big Polly. Here is the premise, succinctly or succinctly. Taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers of 1976, I'm going to test... Pro Strategy Football 2021. This is the 2021 edition, not 2020, as Twitch tried to insist it was. No, it's 2021. And we're going to play uh, 14 games, the 76 regular season, and the 15th game will be Pro, Strategy's foot, Pro Strategy Football's version of Super Bowl XI. Today, we're going to do the first game in Tampa Bay Buccaneer regular season history. I will control the Bucks against the Houston Oilers. So stand by, everybody. This should be a fun one. And you can see we're all set up. And we'll go through the lineups uh, once we get the game started, kind of like how they used to do it on NBC and CBS. Uh, when one team takes the field offensively, we'll show you their offense and the other team's defense and vice versa. We're playing on the expert level. Houston won the toss, will receive. So we'll show you Houston's lineup first. I'm going to kick deep. No, I don't want to do onside kicks. I want to kick deep. And off we go. Houston, Texas. 
was the first game of Buccaneer history. Of course, this is where the Astros played for many years, and this kick returned by Taylor out to the 35, a pickup of 29 yards. So before we call plays, let's scout both teams. We're going to scout the Houston offense. Dan Pastorini at quarterback, Ronnie Coleman at halfback, Ken Burrow, double zero, Billy White, Sue Johnson, Merlin Baker, Earl Thomas. Those who those are your skill positions, your offensive line. Sampson, Conway, Heyman, Carl Mock, Ed Fisher, Albert Drungo, and playing utility offensive lineman, Kevin Hunt. And we will set the Tampa Bay defense for you on the next play. Kind of like how they used to do it. We're starting out with a four wide receiver set. And I'm fine with what the computer has called for my Tampa Bay defense, so we're just going to go for it. Put, put. Houston was not known for a throwing team at this point. The pass is caught by Coleman. He gets to Tampa down. Bay territory right away on the first offensive play to the Tampa Bay 46. It's a first and 10 for them. So we'll scout the Tampa Bay defense as soon as I could call it up. That's the offense. You'll see them in a little bit. Seeing action in the game, Council Rudolph, Dave Pear, Leroy Selman, Pat Toomey, and Dewey Selman. Your linebackers and defensive backs, Steve Reese, middle, back, middle linebacker, inside linebacker, Cal Peterson, Curtis Jordan, Ken Stone, Mark Cotney, Danny Reese. Playing nickel is Mike Washington. So that sets up. Actually, we could show you a few more starters. Let's go back and go through the defensive line again. Looks about the same. And your linebackers and defense uh, defenders in full, Jimmy Gunn, Reese, Peterson, Wood, Richard Wood, Curtis Jordan, Ken Stone, Mark Cotney, Danny Reese, Mark Washington, Roscoe Ward. And that's the word on that. Okay, first and 10 at the 46, Tampa Bay. Still looking at a four wideout set, which I think would be historically inaccurate. But let's run with it. First and 10 at the 46, put, put, put. Pastorini. Fumble. Gives to Coleman a fumble. Recovered by Tampa Bay. Coleman got stuffed, and Tampa Bay picked up the fumble. We didn't see who got it. But the Bucks have it. So we'll look at the offensive starters for Tampa Bay while we have the chance. And they are Steve Spurrier at quarterback, Lewis Carter, Ed Williams, Morris Owens, Bob Moore, and John McKay Jr. Also in the lineup, Bob Moore, Barry Smith, Freddie Douglas, Freddie Douglas and Fred Pegak. We hope he, we're pronouncing his name right. The offensive line, Steve R. Young, Howard Fess, Dan Reichick, Tom Allward, Mike Current, Steve Wilson. And we will set the Tampa Bay, uh, the Houston defense for you shortly. So I want to keep the ball on the ground here. I really don't want, I think the best Offense for the Bucks just is just to keep it simple. We're going to pitch it right with Louis Carter on first down. Put, We're at put, our own put. 46. Carter. Second down. Successfully gets to the outside, picks up nine, and it'll be second in a yard for Tampa Bay. Let's uh, go through the defense for Houston. Houston. Houston, okay. Their defensive line, Tody Smith, Curly Culp, Al Burton, Elvin Bethea, John Little. Those are your linemen. And by the way, uh, let's just see here if I could call up the starters or who who is out there that uh, Houston can prevail upon in this game. Ted Washington, Steve Kiner, Greg Billiam, Bigham, Robert Brazil. Willie Alexander, C.L. Whittington, Mike Reinfeldt, Zeke Moore, Greg Sternick, and Mike Wegger. So that sets both lineups up. It's a second and a yard. 
And the computer likes play action here. I would like to do something a little shorter. Like that. And let's go with that play. Use your running backs as receivers in this situation. You only need a yard. Second in the yard. Put, put. Play action. Caught. And a Bucks first pick down. up their first first down in franchise history. It was Morris Owens picking up eight yards to the Houston 37. So how about that? The Bucks off to a good start in this one. I'm going to go off tackle right. And we're going to go to Carter on first and ten. Bucks at the put, put, put. 37 of Houston. Second down. Brazil on the tackle as Carter picks up two more yards, and that sets up a second and eight. I am not looking to pass in this situation. I'm just going to pitch it right. And I want Williams to be the ball carrier. Let's see what he could do. Probably not an outside runner, though. So we're going to go inside, go off tackle right with him, Ed Williams. Put, Just try put, to chop put. down the yardage a little bit. And Williams back Third to the line, down. and that's it, a yard. And right now it's third and seven. Now I want to pass. I want my one back, if he can, I want him to block. Uh, and we'll look for either a wide receiver or, or a tight end here. Put, put, put. Help Spurrier out. The throw. Caught. Another first down. First down. Pick up a 14 for Morris Owens. And Tampa Bay at the Houston 20. Interesting indeed. Now. We're going to pitch it right with Owen, with Lewis Carter. See what happens Put. here. And a flag on the play. We will check it out. Delay of game against Tampa Bay. Well, that's more like them. <laughs> so we have to take the penalty. It's first and 15. Now, we're going to go off tackle left, and we're going to go with Carter. Put, put, put. You see the makings Second of down. a baseball Out of infield. Down. And, of course, at the Astrodome, the Houston Oilers shared the uh, facility with the Houston Astros. Carter picked up two. It'll be second and 13. And you're wondering, what can I do on second and 13? We're going to screen it. And I'm going to make Smith in the slot the primary receiver. Second and 13 at the 23. Third down. And Smith picked up a couple, not the big gain I was expecting. It's third and 11. Third and 11. You're watching the coach up on Twitch. I'm Big Polly coming to you. Hello. <laughs> it's third and 11. Now, everybody out for a shotgun uh, in shotgun formation. Put, put, put. As we try to get a first down. Caught again and a touchdown. Touchdown. More. 21 yards and the Bucks have scored first in this game. Let's take a look at that play again. Put, put. Spurrier got just enough time through it in the right spot. Touchdown. And there you see it again. More. More, more, more. How do you like them? How do you like them? That was a song from that time. So Green comes on. Dick Dickinson will hold for the extra point. But, but. And these, even these extra points are going to be problematical for the Bucks. Wide right. No and good. that's an example of it. The extra point, no good. And the score remains Tampa Bay 6 and Houston nothing with 9.53 to go. We will stay on this channel until the game concludes, and we will do this every Sunday at 6 o'clock. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. We'll have uh, Franchise Hockey Manager Monday for you, F FHM Monday, the uh, Birth of the Bolt series that I started on YouTube. It's coming over here to Twitch, and it'll be airing on tape delay 
on YouTube on tu- on Tuesday nights, if in case you were wondering. I'll kick deep with the 6-0 lead. Might go through some highlights at the end of these games. And it is Taylor taking it about a yard in his end zone, returned it to the 20. He could have just done that uh, much more. Actually, he caught it at the 1, so he could not have gone back to the end zone. That would have been a safety. So, Houston now. And you note they're in a more basic formation. And I want a key on Ronnie Coleman here. Put, put, put. This is a couple of years before Houston Second down. picked up Earl Campbell. They picked him up in 78. Fine standout at the University of Texas around this time, which gave Houston an extra added dimension, and they used that to make the playoffs several times in the late 70s and early 80s. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. As we uh, continue on, it is now a second and 11. Put, put, put. Flag on the play. I'm recording this Third on Mother's down. Day. Penalty. And we have a penalty. Offsides against Tampa Bay. Houston declines the penalty, and it is now third and two. Tampa Bay thinking they'll run the ball here. I'm going to call upon the Fedora, which is what you use if you want the computer to assist you a little bit. And on third and two from the 28, let's see what happens. Caught oh, a first down. First down. To Willis, the fullback, three yards, tackled by Gunn. And now Tampa Bay again facing issues offensively from Houston, the Houston offense. You see them set up there at a Coleman in the backfield, Burrow at the left split in. This is what they would normally be in, what we think they are in. And I'm going to blitz here. And I'm going to use Richard Wood to blitz. Okay. Actually, I'm blitzing everybody. Put, put, put. And yeah, it's second stuffed down. behind the line. A two yard loss for Coleman, making it second and 12. And I brought the house, and the house did not let me down. 7.58 left in the first quarter. It is 6 nothing Buccaneers. I'm going to focus on the pass in this situation. And I'm not going to... We're going to shift wide. And I only got I only got four. Here's a good rule of thumb for those of you amateur coaches out there. If you're... Uh, offense that you're playing against defensively has four wide receivers. You should probably put in a dime formation, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go prevent. And here we go. Second put, and 12. Put, put. And Third down. Reese caught it for five. It, Reese made the tackle and went to Billy White shoes Johnson. Johnson seemed to trip over the uh, yard marking chains. He was awfully close to it, could have been. And it is now a third and seven at the 34. We'll go through the stats at the end of the first quarter and after every quarter. Fourth down. Coleman, one yard. They went for a run on third and seven, surprisingly. So the Tampa Bay defense of 76, that was pretty stout, has held. And now they're going to get the ball back with a 6 nothing lead. Pastorini is also the punter. I think Danny Reese is the return man. And Pastorini gets the punt away. 
<laughs> Reese had trouble with it, so he just fell on it. 37-yard punt, no return, and the Bucks start from their own 30. With 6-12 left, opening quarter, it is 6-0 in favor of Tampa Bay. Now, I like the uh, computer call here. I like Carter and I'm going for a line plunge. And, yeah, I like, I, I like the call. I want to keep it simple. Put, put, put. I don't think we have Second the talent down. for complex plays. And Carter gains a yard. It'll be second and nine at the 29 for Tampa Bay. Now, here's a situation where I'm going to call us. I like calling screens. I think screen passes would work awfully well here. Uh, we're in the pro set. We're going to give it to Carter on a screen pass. Put. Second and nine. Caught. And Carter down. picks up four yards, which is what we were kind of hoping for, to get it to at least a five-yard or less situation on third. So nice doing, Lewis Carter. We have four wides out. Now, that's not historically accurate. They probably have three wide out. They, a lot of teams did not use four wides until, I would say, the early 80s. But I like the play call generally. So we're going to run with it. Put, put. Spurrier looking and caught. And First Spurrier down. has had a good game so far. That's seven more yards to Morris Owens. So we could already see uh, a rift in the wormhole of history with, with, with high hopes here with the Bucks leading 6 nothing. Inside run, off tackle right, and we're going to give it to Louis Carter. Although I really want, to, I want Williams to get the ball. Uh, Carter has four catches already for 14 yards. And I don't. I want to give him a little bit of rest by not giving him the ball. We'll go to Ed Williams, even if he doesn't pick up too many yards here. And Williams, second down. Well, he did. He did better than I thought he would do. He picked up three. Tackled by Washington of Houston, and that is now second and seven set up now. Something like that, right? We're going strong left, and we're going to go back to Carter. We don't want to be too predictable, but at the same time, we want to Third down. keep things as elementary as possible. That's a four-yard gain for Louis Carter. He's now up to five carries and 18 yards on the day. And the Bucks, Johnny Carson in this alternative time frame, might not get to write all those jokes about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, as he did in 1977 when the Bucks hurtled their way to a 26 loss streak. That might not happen in this 1976. I like the short pass play here. I like Carter uh, as a possible uh, candidate to receive the ball on a swing pass, so let's go with it. Third and three. Put, put. Instead, Incomplete. it's an incomplete pass. Fourth down. Uh, looking for Owens, but Alexander defended. And it's way too far out for a field goal. It'd be 66 yards. It'd be 68 yards. So we're just going to punt it. And actually, we're going to punt towards the sideline. See if that can happen. Put, put, put. And Green. His punt only 25 yards. So Houston takes over. 3.02 left. Opening quarter, it is 6-0. Bucks. How about that? Houston has the ball under clear skies. Well, of course it's under clear skies because they play in a dome. Put. Bucks with eight. <laughs> Second down. Stunt shift on. Alston caught that for five yards, tackled by the Batman, Richard Wood. 2.56 now left. Second and five at the 31. Put, put. Third down. Third down. Willis picking up two yards. 
And if you're Houston, what do you do here? Do you run the ball? You could run get away with running the ball here. They ran it on a third and more than five earlier. 221. Left to go in the third. I am going to... Go nickel. And shift tight. And we'll see what happens here. Put, Might be put, too tight. Put. Houston does have some speed at wide out. The throw caught a first down. First down. To double zero, Kenny Burrow. 14 yard gain. Cottony on the tackle for the Bucks. And now the game's starting to look like what I figured it might. We'll check the replay on that last play. Pastorini with good protection. Nobody, not even close to him. And Burrow First down. just got to the right spot just in the nick of time. And we are back to live action now. We'll try to figure out what to do here. Bucks play a 3-4. And we are going to focus on a pass. No, I think we should focus on the run. And we got one blitzer, Cal Peterson. Possible run put, blitz here. Put, put. Yeah, that seemed to work Second nicely. Down. Willis hit the line for no gain. Peterson on to tackle. Second and ten. We near the end of the first quarter. I'll tell you right now, I like the stunning there. Second and ten. Pastorini back to throw. They almost get to him. And the pass was thrown to Coleman for five. Cottony on the tackle for the Bucks. Could be the final play of the quarter coming up. Seeing three wide in the game for Tampa Bay. I'm going to change my formation to a nickel. If you see three wideouts, you always add two to what you see. Yeah, that's how I do it. And we're going to shift wide. And there. Let's see what happens. One put, second put. left in the quarter. Burrow caught, but short Going of the first. Down. Burrow needed five yards. He only got four. That'll end the first quarter. And you see the stats there. Time of possession. Tampa Bay won that battle. At 7.48 to 7.12. First downs, Tampa Bay out first down them 4-3. to three. They had 7 carries, 22 yards. The Oilers, 6 for minus 2 passing yards. The Bucks nearly keeping up with Houston, 56-64. Total offense, 78-62 Bucks. Spurrier, 6 for 7. Pastorini, a perfect 8 for 8. One turnover, Houston's, and it led to the Tampa Bay touchdown. One penalty, ours. Each team punted once. Tampa Bay only had a 25-yard punt, and Pastorini had a 37-yard punt. Bucks three for four and third downs converted. Fourth downs, we haven't had a team go for a four, go for it on fourth yet. And let me see if I could show you Tampa Bay's stats. See if anything stood out. Louis Carter five for 18. Morris Owens, three catches for 29, and Moore made one for 21, and that was the touchdown. Total yards, Owens leading at 29. Uh, Selman, we've had, let's see here, we have had three players with two tackles, Reese, Peterson, and Jordan. Actually, Mark Cotney has made two tackles as well. And Green came in for the extra point, and he missed it. He also punts. That's pretty much all, how that has all gone, and nothing to speak of return-wise yet. For Houston, we'll quickly look. For Pastorini, they haven't really put in any pressure on Dan, so he was 8 for 8. Dante off to a good start. Coleman, 4 for minus 4. Willis doing a little better, 2 for 2. A positive 2. Coleman, 2 catches. Burrow, 2 catches. Everybody else with either none or one. Coleman leading in total yardage with 20. We've had one, two, three, four, uh, four 
defenders with two tackles for Houston. No field goals attempted. Pastorini, one punt. Taylor, two returns on the kickoffs for 48 yards, a 24-yard average. Let's get back to the game. So Houston punting, unless it's a fake. It's not a fake as Pastorini follows through with a punt. Coming down in the end zone for a touchback. Touchback. So Tampa Bay will start at their own 20. Not a bad place to be with a 6-0 lead. Carter. Put, put, put. The handoff. Second down. Two-yard gain. Culp. Curly Culp making the tackle. I don't want a medium pass here. I want an outside run. McKay, John McKay, the coach, the real-life coach of Tampa Bay, was known for that student body left and student body right, uh, the pitches. So we're going to do that here with Carter. Put, put, put. See if the Bucks can block for Carter. He gets three, 30, 35 almost. Down. Tackled at the 34 by Whittington. So there, a good call there by... Uh, Whoever is coaching this team, I think that's me. Now I want to go with a trap. And we're going to go back to Carter on that. Louis Carter not having a bad game. Put, put, put. And Carter into the secondary. Second down. The Bucks taking no prisoners. A seven-yard gain. And it is now a second and three for Tampa Bay. And this brief pause brought to you by the Raisinets I'm trying to open. But we'll work on that a little bit. Computer wants me to go long. Let's try it. Second and three. Spurrier with plenty of time. Caught. Owens, another big play to the 32 of Houston. This is look this is not looking like an 0-14 team, folks. Put, put, put. You see it again. Owens. Not only did he catch it, he probably got about 10 First yards down. after the catch. Nicely done for the Bucks. Now, screen pass. I like the play call. Let's go with it. Put, put. We got the hot hand right now. There's the screen caught by Owens. He's at the 30. Second down. And he's tackled at the 27. So already a possible shift in the space-time continuum as the Buccaneers up six, looking for more against this Houston Oilers team that wasn't really all that good in 1976. This would be quite a surprise if we could get a win week one. I finally get my Raisinets open. And we're going to make Williams the ball carrier here. And we're going to let him go with it. Put, put. Second and four. Here's Williams. He's got a first down. First down. He's got a first down tackled by Kiner of Houston. I don't think that Kiner is related to Ralph, the uh, legendary Pittsburgh Pirates slugger. So let's see if we can keep the ball moving here. First and 10. Carter in a one back set. But. Uh oh. Delay a game against the Bucks. And that's not what we needed. I want to stick with running the ball. But. To the tight end side. Here's Owens to the 20. To the 10. To the 5. Pater. Touchdown. And the Bucks lead 12-0. Can you believe this? What? Touchdown. Just wanted to play it again for you all. Louis Carter from 28 yards out, a seven-play, 80-yard drive, and the Bucks are up 12 nothing. Extra point try for Green. He's already missed one. Will he miss another? Put. It's up. It's good. It is good. 
Tampa Bay is up 13 to nothing, folks. The 76 Bucks, who in real life went 0 and 14. It's early yet, of course, but it's looking good for them. 11.09 to go till halftime, and they're up 13 to nothing. Touchback. To say that Green put a foot into that one is an understatement. The Bucks riding high. They lead 13 nothing. We got a long way to go yet. Put, put, put. Astorini. The give to Coleman. Coleman into the secondary. Down. He picks up 15. And it's first and 10 for the Oilers. And I want a key on Coleman this time. See what happens. Put. It's a throw. It's caught. Second down. To White Shoes Johnson. He picks up nine yards. A tackle by Reese. Second in the yard now. I'll just stick with what the defense is calling. Put. Put. Astorini caught again. Burrow First got away. Down. He picks up 16. Cottony on the tackle for the Bucks. Now a first and 10 at the Buccaneer 40. 9.52. Put, put, Can put. Houston get off the deck and do some damage here? Willis Second down. with penalty. a three-yard gain and a penalty. Offsides against Tampa Bay, and Houston accepts it, of course. We're going to key on Coleman. And let's go. Pastorini. Second down. With a quarterback sneak, and I got to say, I wasn't anticipating that call. Three yard game. Second and two. Put, put. Here's the play. It's a pass. Incomplete. It's incomplete. I think that's Third the first down. time today uh, Pastorini has thrown an incompletion. Third and two. Basic set here for Houston, so we'll counter in kind. Put, put, put. Looking for an inside run. It's Willis, and he breaks free. First down. He got into the secondary, a pickup of 15. Reese again on the tackle. There is a Reese with a C in the fourth letter of the name. And there is a, a Reese with an S in the fourth letter of the name. Reese is a middle linebacker, R-E-E-S-E. -E -E, and Reese is one of the cornerbacks over here on the right side, R-E-E-C-E. -E. So but, first but. and 10 at the 17. Second down. Coleman picks up five, second and five. So this is the Houston's this is Houston's first big play of uh, drive of the game. Put. Bumble. Bumble. And the Bucks got it. Pastorini got 3 yards but the ball was jarred loose and Tampa Bay is living large right now. They get it at their own 9. 7.24 left. They have a 13 nothing lead. This is a 1976 game, folks. This should not be happening, but yet it is. Lewis Carter will get the ball first and 10 from their put, own put, nine. Put. Carter. Second down. Picks up six to make it second and four. Bingham making the tackle for Houston. Near formation. And I am going to go off tackle right with Carter. Carter has not had a bad day. He has had 10 carries for 73 yards. Put. Carter got into the First secondary down. again for 11 more yards. A pickup of to the 26 of Tampa Bay. Because I just told you it was 11 yards. Brazil on the tackle.
I'm going to go play action, medium pass here with Spurrier. Spurrier has not had a bad day. But Mix it up a little bit. Here's your throw. Caught. And here is Morris Owens. And nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. They do it again. 74 yards, Spurrier to Owens. Who are these guys? It's 19 to nothing. And here is your extra point try to make it 20. Put, put, put. Unbelievable. It's good. It's good. <laughs> and the Bucks lead 20 to nothing. This is not Tom Brady quarterbacking them. This is Steve Spurrier. So they're going sky high on a Tampa Bay bench. John McKay waving his arms. Hey, boys, calm down. We got a long game to play. Touchback. Touchback. This is looking awfully lot. Awfully a lot like what they did to New Orleans on December 11th, 1977. Well, it wasn't December 11th. It was, it was the game against New Orleans. They won 33-14. I'm going to look that up. Put, put, put. I'm pretty sure it was not December 11th. Second down. Out of bounds. Second and eight. Six minutes left in the second. Five thirty one left. Put, put. Third down, out of bounds. And this Buccaneer defense getting lots of confidence right now. December 11th, 1970. I had it right the first time. It was December the 11th of 77. And that makes sense because they didn't play playoff games on December 25th that year. Fell on Sunday, so they played over the first round of the playoffs on a Saturday and a Monday. And here is Alston. Down. You know, uh, Houston's going to get more desperate here. They pick up 17. Reese with a C, with an S, not a, not a C. On the tackle, 4.58 left. Still halftime. It's Tampa Bay 20. Put, put. Houston nothing, which, by the way, was a score in that game, 33-14. Incomplete. Win over the Saints. Second down. Pastorini to Alston, incomplete. I'm going to blitz here. I'm going to blitz here, and I'm going to send... Richard Wood. And Johnny Gunn. Let's do it. Put, put. And that blitz down. helps snuff out the play. Coleman, a two yard game to May, making the tackle for Tampa. Third and eight. Put, put, put. Pastorini. He had a little bit of time. Fourth down. Willis caught it, but only for four yards. It's fourth and four. This is not what I was expecting doing this series. First game, we have a 20 to nothing lead with a team who never won a game in 76. Here's Pastorini back to punt. Put, put, put. Did the Bucks do even more damage before we go to half. More. A two-yard return to the 17. I think that's uh, quite a few times now they've returned a punt. We're going to keep it simple. I'm happy going at a half up 20. Carter into the line. Second down. And he picks up four yards. And I want to keep it simple. I'm going to pitch it right. 
with Carter. Actually, you know, I should pitch it left because I got the tight end on that side. 256 left. Hut, hut, now hut. turns into 224. Oh, and Carter Third immediately down. hit by Brazil. Four yard loss. And it's third and ten. We'll take it to the two minute warning here. And Houston calls time. They have two left. But I like this play. Yes, I know. Go ahead. Put, put. They nearly get the Spurrier. They don't. He chucks it up. Incomplete. And it's incomplete. Fourth down. With 2.18 to go. And Tampa Bay, no brainer here. They punt. Put, put, put. With the ball at their own 17. The field goal try would have been 100 yards. Billy White shoots Johnson. He's very dangerous. And he returns at 11 yards. So Houston set up at their own 49 with 2.03 to go. But the big story here is the Bucks have jumped out to a 20 0 lead. Incomplete pass. Second down. Intended for Coleman. Danny Reese defended it. And we are at the two minute warning. And we'll look at the game stats in great detail in the half. Uh, but this is a stunner. Tampa Bay leading 20 to nothing. Houston with a second and 10. Third down. This is Burrow catching it for three. Reese with an S making the tackle. Down to a minute 53. And can I, I call timeout. I'm going to call timeout right away. I have two left. Third and seven. Put, put, put. Pastorini in shotgun formation. It's caught, but Fourth again, down. it's short of the first. Alston needed seven. He got five, and Richard Wood made the tackle. And I am again going to use a timeout. I'm going to watch for a fake on fourth and two from the 43. It only makes sense put, put, that Houston put. would try some shenanigans. There's the punt. Not a good one. Only went 15 yards. It went off the side of Dan Pastorini's foot. Let's look at it again. You'll see it here. Put, put, put. No rush. He just shanks it. That was a shank eponymous punt. So Tampa Bay takes over, first and 10 at the 28. We have 142 left. I am not looking uh, to do anything braggadocious here. I just want to run the ball, get to the what? half. Maybe get first down or two. Second down. If a big play comes, then yeah, I take it. But you're up 20 to nothing. Why would you? Carter, a one-yard gain. Right now, play normally. Let the clock run down to a minute five. Pitch the ball, maybe. I don't like this shotgun formation. I'm going to go uh, short yardage. Put a short yardage set in. Just put, put, put. In 1976, you can't kneel. Carter into the secondary First again. Down. And that moves it out to the 44. And I just want to run it up the middle and get to the half. Carter. Second down. Gain six. Now what I might do. Is just let time expire. Go to the half, boys. Put, put, put. And there it is. No play. We're at halftime. It's 20 to nothing, Tampa Bay. Here's your halftime stats 19 carries, 112 yards for the Bucks. 
162 passing yards for the Bucks. They went 9 for 11. Pastorini went 14 out of 17. Uh, first downs, the Bucks with 11. Houston was 7. We are 3 and 5 for third downs. 3 for 5. Houston 4 for 8. We have held the ball longer than Houston did. No sacks by either team. Two turnovers by Houston, and they have been big ones. So let's go through the stats. And you see them there. Spurrier, 9 for 11, 162 yards. His rating right now is 158.33, which is the perfect rating in the way the NFL does the uh, passing ratings. Carter, he's already over 100 yards for the day, 16 and a buck four. Williams has had it three times for eight. Morris Owens, five catches. He had that big 77-yarder uh, for the last touchdown they got. 74-yarder, yeah. And Carter has got two out of the backfield. Total yards, Owens is leading at 129 and Carter with 114. We have Reese making seven tackles for the Bucks. He's leading in that category. Here's your field goal tries. Green was two for three on extra points. 35-yard punting average. No uh, kick returns yet for McNeil or Carter. Uh, Moore made a return for two yards. Actually, that was only one return. So a look at Houston. Who has a lot of work to do in the second half. 14 for 17 went past Dorini. And you'll see the rest of the stats as they lay out here. You see Culp has made five tackles. Houston got inside the red zone of Tampa Bay at one point when they trailed by 13. And they fumbled. Tampa Bay picked it up at the nine, and they had a 91-yard drive, culminating with Morris Owens scoring from 74 yards out on a pass from Spurrier. So this game has totally gone the opposite of what we were expecting. In real life, in 1976, it was Houston that won 20 to nothing. Tampa Bay is leading at the half, 20 to nothing. So quite a surprise here. I don't know what you could possibly say for a result like this. But we'll think of something before the half ends. At the end zone, brought out. And past the 20. McNeil to the 24. So I want to keep it as simple and as stupid as humanly possible the second half. Try to hang on to this 20 run, 20, not 20 runs. I was just noting during the break, the Rays won their game today on Saturday. Now, if you're seeing this on some day other than the 9th of May, I don't know what happened to the Rays that day. We'll give it to Carter. Carter already over 100 yards on the day. He stuffed at the line. Whittington on the tackle for the Oilers. It's 20 to nothing. I'm going to go screen pass here, and we're going to go to Williams. I want Williams to get the ball. Put, put, put. They get it to him, but he's trapped behind third the line. Down. So now you're looking at a third and 13 situation. Computer is suggesting Carter on the draw. Not a bad call, actually. Put, put, put. And he got a couple. Down. And Green comes in the punt. Carter's the up back. And let's see what happens here. Put, put, put. Green gets it away. Just gets past midfield. Actually, no, it goes out of bounds. Nobody uh, tried to pick that up for Houston. 43-yard punt for Dave Green. 
So the Bucks go on defense, and that may be their strong suit. Astorini got two wide receivers, two wide outs in the game. Hope the Bucks but, are ready for them. It is Willis. Second down. Picking up four and making it second and six. Tampa Bay 20. Houston nothing. No, that is not a typo. Imagine the sports world would be rather shocked if this, this had happened in real life in 1976. Imagine that, that score would be something that would cause Howard Cosell to lose his toupee. Second and six, 12-19 left in the third quarter. Pastorini under pressure. Caught, but for a loss to Coleman. That man would there for the tackle. Third and eight. So now third and eight at the 36. And Tampa has had some pretty good success. Uh, keeping Houston from converting on third down. We'll see if that continues. Put, put, put. Pastorini with time, throws, caught, and again. Fourth down. Short injury. of the first down, and we have an injury. But first, let's tell you, Pastorini threw it to Coleman for seven yards. Reese made the tackle. Middle linebacker Reese, not the corner. Reese. And Ronnie Coleman is down. Should be returning soon. Dawkins will go in for him. And we'll again watch for the fake punt. Huh? That was Pastorini. Put, put, you got put. a quarterback in there, so he's going to do something. Flag on the play. If it's against the Bucks, it's a first down for Houston. Penalty. Reese, a seven-yard return on a 41-yard punt. Let's check it. Offsides against the Bucks. So Houston keeps possession. A long way to go still, 10-57. Put, put, put. In the third quarter. Thrown and caught. Pastorini to Johnson, 17 yards. Remember, Dawkins is in the game. At halfback. Put, First put. and 10 now at the Bucks 35. This is a give to Dawkins. Second down. And a three yard gain for him. Reese on the tackle. Second and seven at the 32. Put. Pastorini, sideline, but again Third short down. of the first. But that was a second down, not a third down. Burrow for four. Third and three. I'm going for broke here. I'm going to bring everybody on a blitz. Put, put, put. Give. Not a first down. Third down. That blitz converged on Dalk Dawkins. And it's a one yard loss on the run, fourth and four. Now, Butler will come in to try a field goal. Field goal will be of 46 yards. The kick is up. It's good. It's good. Butler gives Houston a score for the first time, but they still got a lot of work to do. They trail 20 to 3. Eight yards, eight plays, 37 yards. Butler from 46, which in those days was a pretty decent kick. And Tampa Bay gets it back on the kickoff. <laughs> Taking about five yards deep in the end zone, and he doesn't get back. He just get back past the 10. He should have just taken a knee. Carter to the 13, and it's first and 10 for the Bucks. And on first and ten, play action incomplete. incomplete. Second down. Last thing I wanted there. Coleman back in the game when Houston gets the ball again. So I'm going to pitch right with Carter. Put, put, put. See if I can get some blocking. I do. 
First down. Pickup of 11, Kiner making the tackle. They ran to the short side of the field, and with all those receivers in the game, they happen to manage uh, to get some good blocking, and the Bucks pick up another first down. We're going to give Williams the ball here. On a line plunge. Hut, hut, hut. Williams did second good. Down. He got five yards. Going to be second and five for Tampa Bay. Talk about a moment that will change the course of NFL history. Look what the Bucks are doing to Houston. They lead 20 to 3. It's still a three score game because remember, back in 1976, this was 18 years before they instituted the two point conversion. So you got to get two touchdowns and a field goal to tie. Oh, that was not a good play. Third down, Williams, out of bounds. Out of his element, going to the outside, and he pit lost three yards, and it'll be third and eight. We'll go medium pass. And Moore hasn't gotten a touch, I think, since the touchdown he got, the first touchdown the Bucks got. So we're going to look to him here on third and eight. Put, put. A flag. Incomplete. Okay. Fourth down. Got to hope it's against Houston. It is not. It's a legal procedure against the Bucks. So Green back to punt. Put. Got out of the way with no pressure. And this is going to be returned by Coleman, but not for much. Two yards to the 37. And Houston's got 63 yards to get a touchdown. Now I am noting the uh, Houston is playing the four wide receiver set again, so I go to a prevent. Put, put. Caught. Second down, out of bounds. To Coleman for two yards, second and eight. Okay, I'm going to double Burrow here. But See what that brings. Pastorini. Incomplete. And incompletion. Third down. Was intended for Burrow, so good call. 5.30 left, third quarter. The Bucks trying to win their first regular season game of 1976. And by the way, if I win this game, we're going to keep going with the series, see how many games I can win. But a very respectable showing for Tampa Bay so far. Third and an eight. But, but, Passing situation but. here for Pastorini. He looks incomplete. incomplete. Fourth down. And the Bucks snuff him again on third down. Fourth and eight. I do not think they will go for a fake here. Put, put, put. Pastorini gets the punt away. It looked like a good one. Reese. A two-yard return to the 26. Punt went 37 yards. So Tampa Bay still leading 20 to 3 with 519. 513 now to go in the third. What an upset this would be. To start the 76 season. We're going to go Carter, line plunge. Put, put. He's had a good game for the Bucks. And he got into the secondary. Second down. Past the front seven. Again, a six. Buffea making the tackle for Houston. Second and four. And we're going to chew up the clock a little bit. Before we go again. Carter again. Going to run off guard or off tackle. Third down. This time, Houston snuff it out. It snuffed it out. It was a yard loss. Smith on the tackle for Houston. Third and a five. We're going to screen it to Carter on third and five. Because they haven't seen this yet on third down. There it is. And Carter short. Fourth down. Kiner on the tackle for Houston. 
And I'm not getting cute here. I'm putting the ball away. Put, put, put. Four for two. Little bit of a rush by Houston, but it didn't get there. White Shoes Johnson. Shuck and jived one tackle. 14 yards on the return to the 41. It is 20 to 3 still in favor of Tampa Bay. 317 left. Third quarter. Put, put, put. Houston will be playing catch up the rest of the game. But here's Coleman. Coleman First with down. a big gain. 14 yards. Tackled by Reese. Looks like uh, my computer is suggesting a stunt here. And I like it. Let's do it. Put, put, put. Pastor, you have a lot of time. He throws incomplete. incomplete. Second down. Alston, the intended receiver, but the Tampa Bay defense was ready for him. This is the coach up with Big Polly. I'm Big Polly. I just noticed we have gone, gone past 7 o'clock. If you are watching this stream or if you're watching this later on either YouTube or Twitch, uh, I'm TB Polly on Twitch. I am Big Polly on YouTube and my Facebook group, the, the uh, Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, is what I go by on YouTube. I've been tweeting over there a little over a year, just starting up here on Twitch. And the coach up follows the trials and travails of the Tampa Bay Bucks, and my mission was to see whether or not I could win at least one game with Tampa Bay. And as you can see there by the score, I'm doing pretty well. 20-3 to three with 237 left in the third quarter. So there's your reset. Second and 10 for o uh, the Oilers. Cut. Caught. First down. Thomas picking up 17 and Pastorini getting hot. Reese, the middle linebacker, making the tackle. And there's 2.30 to go. And I'm going to go prevent instead of uh, a nickel set because they had four wides in the game. And I always say if, if you got four wides, you go, you go dime. You don't go nickel. So let's see what happens on first and 10. Houston threatening. Pastorini under pressure. And they get him. Second Huge down. sack. 14 yards. Carlson Rudolph making the tackle. Pastorini was doing the Benny Hill dance back there. Okay. Second and 24 at the 42. Mark that for a highlight. Put, put, put. Pastorini looking. Incomplete. Incomplete. Third down. Third and 24. Just play the pass, baby. Just play the pass. Put, put. Pastorini. It's like flag football there. This one was caught. And first they down. get Penalty. a first down, we think, on third and 24. Johnson gets 29, but check the marker. Offensive holding Houston. Tampa Bay has the option. We're going to have to take it. Take it third and 34. I accept the penalty. And again, play prevent. Don't get too cute. But Pastorini looking. <laughs> Incomplete. Incomplete. Fourth down. And now Houston's going to have to punt because they got knocked out of field goal range with all of that. I don't think they'll fake here but, with a but, 34 but. yards on fourth. Is what needed to get a first down. So Pastorini just going to try to soft shoot it in. Reese picks it up, gains a couple to the 14. How about this game? 20-3, to Tampa Bay leading... Not trailing, leading late in the third. Carter, line plunge. Put, put, put. And Carter into the secondary. First he down. picks up 12 yards. And when things are going good, things are going good for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 53 seconds left to go, which now turns into put, 21 put, seconds. Put. 
Carter didn't Second get anything down. there on a pitch to the right side. Smith on the tackle. Second and ten. That should end the third quarter. Hut, hut, hut. It does. And it's 20 to 3, Tampa Bay with one more quarter left to go. You see the uh, third quarter stats there. 28 carries, 143 yards for the Bucks on 43 plays total. They have gained 306. Houston's gained 212. And they have run 19 rushes and 27 passes for 46 plays. And we'll go over the player stats at the end of the game and show you highlights from other games. So, second and 10. I do not like a long pass here. And keep it simple. Carter, inside run. Yes, I know we've run it scores at times, but... When you're up down, 17, you don't really want to push the envelope too much. Carter gained a yard, third and nine. And we'll go medium pass here. Put, put, put. Spurrier, throwing. Incomplete. And incomplete. Fourth down. So the Bucks quickly punt. And let's do that. Put. Green back to punt at his own 10. There's the punt. Billy White shoes Johnson smothered for only a two-yard gain to the 36. And Houston takes over there. Very early in the fourth, we have 14.20 left to go. How about this, folks? Put. Put. Castorini with plenty of time. He throws. Caught. And Burrow gains 24. And Tampa Bay will gladly let them have that much yardage. One score won't hurt the uh, Bucks, but two touchdowns and a field goal will. And it's just going to be a matter of how much time the Bucks are going to have at their disposal. 14-14 now left. Three trips to the right side. And Pastorini Second down. takes advantage of the open field, gives to Coleman, who gains eight. Dewey Selman makes the tackle for the Bucks. Now a second and two. And a lot of antsy nerves at the Astrodome right now. Put, put, put. Second and two. It's Pastorini looking. He's got a man, incomplete. but it's incomplete. Third down. Third and two. Folks, I'm going to bring the house again. I'm going to bring the house again. And I'm going to blitz everybody. Which they may have already done. Okay. Third and two. Put, put. Quick throw. Caught. First down. And a first down. Finally, Houston gets a first on third. Astorini to Alston. Cotney making the play. I wanted to bring the house on the blitz, uh, but it was preventing me from doing some doing so somehow. First and ten at the Tampa Bay 30, 12, 26 now left in the fourth. Pastorini quickly caught down. by Johnson, a pickup of five. Second and five. Now I'm bringing that bringing the house on a blitz. Put put put. Because we have a good defensive team, we might as well down. use it. Coleman, a yard loss, tackled by Wood. Third and six. As time continues to move. Third and six. Put, put. Can they stop him again on third? In yes! Fourth down. And Houston will get a field goal try at best here. Butler from 43 put, put, to make put. it a 20-6 game. Wide left. Wide left, and Tampa Bay takes over, and they still have a three-score lead. 
Score remains 20 to 3. And now we just want to chew up as much clock as we can. Carter, up the middle. Second down. He loses a yard tackled by Curly Culp. Second and 11. And I want the clock to run as much as humanly possible. Williams to the inside. And I picked up third a little down. bit, a yard. It'll be third and ten. Now, I'm going to run a screen pass here to Carter and see what that brings. Nine fifty-two left. Incomplete. Incomplete. Spurrier was under heat on that throw. And it's fourth and ten. We'll just punt it away. Put, put, put. This could not have gone better for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Three yard return for Coleman to the 33, and that's where Houston sets up shop. I'm going to play prevent because of the th trips to one side. Put, put, put. Pastorini throwing. Caught. First down. To Thomas. That's good for the first. So nice to be with you all on Twitch. And so nice for all for all of you watching on YouTube as we air this about say we're gonna air this either eight thirty or nine o'clock on Monday. Second down. Second down. Burrow picking up a yard. Houston's just got to rely on the short pass and hope they can get close enough. But with 8.26 now but, left, but. this is going to be a tough deal. Throwing is Pastorini, and it's incomplete. Third down. Third and nine. Don't call Shirley Bassey. This is not history repeating. This is a new history being made. If the Bucks hold on. Put, put, put. The throw caught by Burrow Third inside down. the 40 to the 39. Jordan making the tackle. ABP. Hello, Poot Pace. How are you, sir? Good to see you. We got a history altering event here with the Buccaneers leading 20 to 3 in 1976 NFL action. Moore, the tight end, had a score. Second down. Injury. Our running back had a big score, and then Morris Owen scampered in from 74 yards out. And that's been the scoring for the Bucks. We have an injury. It is Billy Johnson who is down. He's out the rest of the game. So Bjorn, or Bjorn, or Burn, is coming in at split end. Good to have somebody to chat with here in the Twitch. Looks like you'll be getting the first win already. Yeah, I, this is a total surprise. I was not expecting it. I thought I'd probably go well into the 76 season before I got one, but I did. So, second and nine. Put. Third down, out of bounds. Third and nine. So they trim the clock a little bit there, going out of bounds, but still 7.20 to go. Houston was not a great team, if I remember correctly, in 76 either. They were like 4 and 10, 5 and 9. Oh, an interception. Thank you very much. Cotney with the pick, and the Bucks have it back. First and 10, 7.03 to go. I'm going to take a brief look and see how what was the record of the 76 Houston Oilers. So stand by, folks. We're going to call plays again in moments. Stunning turn of events in this game. Now you think the Bucks, uh, the Bucks could win maybe three or four games this year. They went five and nine. They started out strong in 76. They started out winning four of their first five, but they finished the year five and nine. So we're going to give it to Ed Williams. Put, put. Played on the 76 and 77 fumble. teams. A fumble. Second down. But Tampa Bay recovered. Whew. 
So we're just going to chew clock as much as we can. You got to be careful how you say that. And yeah, I like the pitch right to Louis Carter here. Carter had a. Third down. Okay, he's stuffed for no gain, but that's fine. That is quite fine the way this is going. When the Bucks beat the Saints in 77, when they broke the 26 game losing streak, they had 10,000 people. Uh, Mob, I think it was one buck place, which wasn't too far from Tampa Airport the, uh, at the time, Tampa International Airport, and there were 10,000 people. They interrupted Channel 13, which is the CBS station, and they aired it a good hour. Just the bucks arriving and everybody coming out to cheer them. Uh, but, but. <laughs> It was big news here Fourth down. in 76 when, uh, 77 when they won over the Saints. Four-yard gain. It was big news nationally, too. Uh, I think they gave Johnny Carson the game ball because Carson kept ripping them. Four-yard gain, fourth and five. That's just fine. We're going to run the clock down to 516. Clock is our friend at this point. We're going to punt with Dave Green. Put, put. <laughs> Yes, yes, Luke, very true. But he won the game in the end, that's the thing. He won the game with his Rams at the end. Uh, we're talking about our good friend over on YouTube, Al Red Sox fan. He does a lot of good sports gaming material, and maybe one day he'll come over to Twitch. So Pastorini, let's see, they got three wide outs, so I got a counter with a nickel here. I got 137 what? subscribers on YouTube now. Oh, they get the Pastorini. Pastorini got nailed out of bounds. And they're going to say no penalty, and we'll thank them for that. Again, three wideouts, so again, we stay in the nickel. Put, put, put. Yeah, that Rams-Raiders game was incredible. Third down. He uses 77, and I use 76. Pastorini to Coleman for five. Third and 11. 448 left in the game. Put. Caught, and Burrow got a little bit more, 16 yards to the 39. I'm sure the Bucks would gladly give a touchdown up now and let that clock run. It's down the 427. And again, three wideouts, and they're suggesting I play a 3-4. We're not going to do that. We're going to play nickel. Put, put, put. Here's the throw. Intercepted. Intercepted again. Oh, look at this. Peterson had some running room. To the 43, and that's Pastorini's second interception of the game and of the quarter. Computer is suggesting a little trickeration with a reverse. I am not suggesting that at all. Carter up the middle, please. Put, put, put. 405 to go. I think Houston burned those timeouts. Six yard gain. Kiner on the tackle. I couldn't. Yeah, Dave Casper beat, Casper beating all those DBs on the Rams sounds a little unrealistic to me. I mean, I know Casper was a good running receiver, but no, I, I I would think that they would get him at some point before he goes 99 yards. Four minutes to go. Again, let's just keep it up the middle, boys. We're gonna go trap, and we're gonna go Carter. Carter has had a big day. He has had 28 carries for a buck 43. Carter lost Third a little down. bit, but again, that's fine. What I really want to do is chew up some clock. 2.52 at the next snap. And on third and five. You know, I'm just going to play tight. I'm just going to play very, very tight here. Short yardage. And we'll just keep it with Carter. Put, put. See what 11 men on the line can do. Not Fourth much. Down. A yard loss. It's fourth and six. 251 left. 
And we'll run the clock down to 218. Okay, now you punt. Well, it'll be 219. Dave Green with the punt. And they are stunned here in Houston that this has happened to their favorite football team, the Houston Oilers. White Shoes Johnson returned at four yards. And with 2.13 left, it's 20-3. to Tampa Bay about to win their first regular season game and preventing that god-awful 26-game losing streak they had. So Pastorini back under center. He's in the gun. I don't think I called the right defensive formation, but it's caught. They throw underneath to Burrow. He picks up six more yards. Well, I hope you had a good Mother's Day. I got to go get my baby. So, yeah, go ahead, uh, Luke Brown, everybody. Better known on here as Poopy Face McBuck. Mc... <laughs> oh, I said the F word. Wonderful. Poop Face McButt Pants. Hope I could say the F word on Twitch. Otherwise, I would be going back to YouTube real soon. Okay. Second, it was an accident, folks. It was an accident. Second and four. I got four wide outs. Yeah, I'm playing prevent, so that's the right formation for that. Two-minute warning. I didn't mean to throw the F-bond. It just slipped out of my mouth. I'll tell you a story. Uh, when I was in middle school, uh, you know, everybody was starting to learn computer language, and there was this computer language on Tandy computers that they were teaching us at school called Script sit, S C R I P S I T. And one day, our computer teacher uh, didn't say script sit. She said, "You guessed it, script sit with an H between the S and the I." So we all got a nice little giggle out of that. She didn't mean to say it, just like I didn't mean to say what I said. Here's the throw, incomplete. incomplete. Third down. Second and four. Later, man. <laughs> Third and four. Now, when I was in middle school, those were the years 1982 to 1985. 82, 83, 83, 84, 84, 85. That was a long time ago. Third and four. And, yeah, we got to go to the prevent again. Just keep it in front of us. That's all we got to do. Astorini took some pressure there. Yeah, that's a first down. first down. But we'll let Houston get all the underneath yards they want. They have not called a timeout yet. They should be due for that. And again, three wide outs, so we got to play nickel. 129 left. They're not even trying to call timeouts. Caught. Over the middle, this is Thomas, First down. and he's in the Tampa Bay territory. But again, caught in the middle of the field. Minute 23 left. And again, I will look and count the receivers, and I will play nickel. Put, put, put. Pastorini under pressure. He throws. It's caught on the sidelines. Out of bounds. And it's Burrow for 15 yards. That'll stop the clock. Houston still hasn't called a timeout yet. Very strange. I think they would want to call a timeout here. But I guess they want to see how much time left after they score this first time. Throw. Incomplete. Incomplete. Second down. Looking for Burrow, defended by Dewey Selman. And with 55 seconds left to go, I'm still going to call a nickel. And we're going to go uh, three deep zone now. Put, put, put. Pastorini with lots of time. He throws, caught, over the middle. Down. Peterson making the tackle on Coleman. But again, the clock ticking. And Houston finally calls their first time out with 49 seconds left in the game. Put. We're this another time. Incomplete. They'd Second have down. a Penalty. Uh, big jug of water, ice water, ready for John McKay, but that didn't happen until the 80s. Holding against Houston, we're going to back Tampa. Uh, we're going to back the Oilers up. Again, they got three wideouts, so again, we got a counter with that nickel. Put, 
Astorini, not even trying to get up. First down. A rush on him. Burrow, 20 yards. I bet you when I look at the stats that Pastorini has thrown for 400 yards today. See, he's thrown a lot. Second time out. We're now down to 35 seconds. And the defense is tired, so let's just hope we can hurry this up and get them off the field. We're going to play tight with the ball at the seven. Put, put. Pastorini throwing. And finally, touchdown. Houston has a touchdown. Pastorini to Alston for seven yards. And they have one timeout left. It's 20 to nine. They will try. I'm just going to have a normal rush. We'll let Butler kick his extra point here. No harm, no foul, no matter how that goes. It's good. It's, good. it's 20 to 10 with 30 and 29 seconds left to go. Now you watch for the onside kick. And there it is. Buck's got it. And that should do it. Tampa Bay call, uh, getting a historic first win. Put, put, put. Will Houston use their last Second time down. out here? Houston does call their last time out here, but we're just going to call the same play again. Rendering put. the matter academic. Third down. Colt making the tackle, or so he will be accredited to. This game is over. Tampa what, what? Bay, in their first regular season game, did what it took them 26 games to do in 76 and 77. They have won. They have defeated Houston 20 to 10. And you see it there. In a strong effort, Tampa Bay got past Houston. We'll go through the stats. We'll show you some other games. Total yards was 312 for Tampa, and they called 56 plays. Well, I was close. I said Pastorini got to, no, actually, let me see. 334. Pastorini threw for 334. They called 72 plays, and their total offense was 386. Who do you give the game ball to? We'll go through the stats, and you just look at them. I would think you give it to Lewis Carter. 154 total yards. Morris Owens had 129. Steve Reese, uh, nice showing from him. 13 tackles. Green, nine punts for 39.4. This was a very fine effort from Tampa Bay. And it came out of nowhere. Spurrier's rating, 11 out of 17, a buck 63, and his rating was 135. Pastorini sacked twice, and his pass rating was not all that good, 78.25. Burrow had a good game, 12 catches, 140. Probably played the best for Houston as we look at it. Kiner, 11 tackles. Not a bad game out of him. Pastorini, well, not a good. He had that shank punt of 15 yards, and that really hurt his average, 35-5. Taylor, 48 yards on two kick returns. Johnson. Not uh, decent punting averages, but not great. So let's just show you what has happened in other games. Oops, no, 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 I don't. Okay, what I want to do. Okay, you see the you see the standings there. Okay, we'll go through the games and we'll show you some highlights. 
Washington over the Giants, 9-6. to six. Dallas just defeating Philadelphia, 17-10. to 10. Now, did Seattle beat St. Louis? That would surprise me. They did not. It was 17-14 Cardinals. Detroit and Chicago opened the season against each other. And the Lions won 13-3. Minnesota and New Orleans. Minnesota coasted 31-6. Rams at Atlanta, the Rams perennial contenders at this point in NFL history. They goose Atlanta 24-0. San Francisco, Green Bay, these are not good teams, at least at this point in time. And the 49ers win 9-3. We go to the AFC, Baltimore and New England. Who wins this? 27-14. The Patriots had a good team in 76, if I remember correctly. Miami goes up to Buffalo, and they can't shovel them off. 31-27, the Bills over the Lions. New York and Cleveland played each other on opening day of 76. The Browns prevail 27-6. Now, this would be an interesting game. Pittsburgh and Oakland. Pittsburgh prevailing 27-17. They are the defending champions, having won in real life Super Bowl X. Denver goes to Cincinnati. And the Bengals goose the Denver Broncos 30-0. San Diego and Kansas City. San Diego wins 30 to 24, and that's the Bucks' next opponent. So let's take a look real quick before we go at the Pittsburgh Oakland game. We'll I'll learn a little bit more about that. 27 17, Pittsburgh came from behind to win, and a strong effort. Pittsburgh got past Oakland. Played in a moderate rain. And we'll start looking at highlights. We begin in the first quarter. In a rainstorm in Oakland Coliseum, Banasak, touchdown. Touchdown. And this was Oakland getting on the board. 7-0. We'll show you the next highlight. It's Pittsburgh in scoring territory. They give it to Franco Harris. And, of course, he's going to score. Touchdown. He scores from 13 yards out. And it's 7-7. Seven to seven. Foot, foot. Pittsburgh in their own territory. Intercepted, Intercepted by George Atkinson to the Pittsburgh 19. So Oakland has it deep foot, in Pittsburgh foot, territory. Foot. They go for the field goal. Mike Gray, who would later play for the Bucks. Errol Mann kicks it good. And it's 10-7. to seven. Now, foot. Oakland with the ball again in the third quarter. A fumble. And that was recovered by Pittsburgh. Next highlight. It's Oakland threatening with a 10-7 lead. Touchdown. Stabler to Blanch. Branch for eight yards for a touchdown. And at this point, it's 17-7. But we have more highlights to show you. Pittsburgh threatening and trying to cut it close in the fourth. Touchdown. Touchdown. Bradshaw to Lewis, and with 2.49 left, it's 17-14, 17-13. They missed the extra point. They get the ball again. Harris gives Pittsburgh a late go-ahead store. Then Oakland trying to tie it or do some damage of their own. Fumbled, caught and fumbled, and here's Blankenship going back all the way, almost, to the 12. And then a little ways later... They give it to Harris, and Harris knows what to do with that. Touchdown. And it was the Oilers, uh, not the Oilers, but Oakland losing to Pittsburgh 27-17. to So that's how the highlights work, in case you were curious. And we'll show you one more set of highlights before we call it a day. And we'll show you Buffalo and Miami. And we'll go through the highlights here. And we will start with Buffalo having possession. Another rainy day. Ferguson giving to Simpson. He fumbles and Miami takes over. So a little later on, Miami gives up the first touchdown. And the Juice gets redemption with a touchdown. And it's 7-0. Miami threatens. And that is Bulacic, or Bulac, 
with the touchdown, and that made it 7-7. Seven, seven. But, but. Miami in deep in Buffalo territory again. That's a touchdown. Greasy to touchdown. Jim Mandich. And it's 14-7. But, but, but. Field goal try here for Buffalo. Long one, 50 yards about. That's good. It's good. Jack Oenko makes it 14-10. Now, but, but, Buffalo but. with the ball. Intercepted, Intercepted by <laughs> Towel or Towley to the Buffalo 15. Early third quarter, but, but, it's 14-10. Garo. Gary Premium comes on, tries a field goal for 24. It's good. It's good. And it's 17-10. Now, back to but, Buffalo, looking to tie the game. And this pass caught by Coleman. Touchdown. Ferguson to Coleman, 25 yards. And we're dead even at 17. But, but, now, Miami but. with the ball. I feel like Howard Cosell doing this. Greasy throws long. It's caught by Moore, and Moore is going to go coast to coast. Touchdown, Miami. Touchdown. Penalty. And with about midway through the third quarter, it was 24-17. The penalty did not matter. Buffalo but. with the ball now. Ferguson throwing. Caught. Fumbled. Fumbled. And Miami got it. Bob Chandler with a 26-yard gain before he coughs it up. <coughs> and it's Miami now with it. Four but, but. seconds left. Third quarter. This was the last play of the third. Greasy. Intercepted, Intercepted by Jones. So we moved in the next play. 12-03. This is Ferguson. Looking. Caught. A touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown to Kinney, and we're dead even at 24 but, at this but, point. But, With under five but, minutes left in the fourth, Gary Premian hits a field goal, 27-24, Miami. But, but, With two but, minutes left in the game, Buffalo threatening, and it's a touchdown, touchdown. to Chandler. 31-27, last but, gasp but, for the Dolphins here. With 45 but, seconds left to go, Greasy sacked. Three-yard loss by Krakow. And actually, but, but, actually, but. that was the game. That was the game. 31-27. I was showing you the first highlight again, which you can do on here. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed our action tonight. And here I am in the dark. Should have turned the light on before I began that. And here is the chat in the upper right that I was seeing. Uh, thank you to Luke Brown, who on Twitch is known as Poopy Face McBuckpants. And we enjoyed his company here on this maiden voyage of the Coach Up with Big Polly. And in case you missed the final score, it was Tampa Bay 20 and Houston 10. So already mission accomplished as we have won our first game of 1976. And we only had to play one game. But we're going to do the season. We're going to do the 14 games of the Tampa Bay Bucks season. Playoff games, should they make it that far? I don't think they're going to make it that far. Uh, and Super Bowl Eleven, as Pro Strategy Football saw it for 1976. This has been TB Polly here on Twitch. Big Polly's World of Sports Sims on YouTube and in the Facebook group. We wish you all well. Godspeed and God bless. We'll do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.